If you talk about this with my father, brother, father go crazy. <laughs> my father loved judo, but no, no, freestyle is a great sport. Judo, different level. Look. I love wrestling. Uh, if you watch like outside UFC, everything like judo, high level. Judo is high level. My opinion, judo is plus. No, judo is plus. What's harder? Hi, this is Shady and last night we witnessed the end of an era, the end of arguably the greatest career of all time, Khabib Nurmagomedov, 29-0, a great finish, a great tribute to his father who loved uh, judo as you heard Khabib himself uh, say, so uh, I'm gonna go in this video and show you the subtleties and the tactics shown with some of the basic moves but with so much subtleties into it as i mentioned uh, justin also did a great job i don't think i've seen anyone keep uh, khabib on his feet circling for that uh, long so props to great to the great two uh, fighters so uh, like i said this was the end of an era uh, we were lucky to be alive during this this will go down as arguably the greatest uh, fighter of all time khabib norma gomedov so uh, like I said, I was very surprised with Justin's performance. Uh, he did very good, uh, lasting but only two rounds, um, far less than Connor. So the fight starts. Uh, Khabib, uh, I'm sorry, Justin does a really great job uh, at punching and threatening, kicking his legs, uh, really putting Khabib over uh, the edge. But Khabib, with his mental fortitude, uh, did what he always do best. So. Uh, they did some scramble, they did some striking. Now, uh, Khabib's uh, very simple yet effective tactic is circling around until you get your back to the cage. And this is where he initiates his uh, deadly grappling, very similar to like a snake and a frog uh, scenario, basically. Uh, works every time here. Finally, he gets the Morote Gari or the reaping with both hands and then proceeds so morote gari is when you actually reap with both hands you do not lift that would be considered a different throw so morote gari is when you take either both legs or one leg and then you let uh, their weight collapse to the rear and unbalancing them completely to get the ippon now this is obviously a prohibited move now a days but once you lift and slam this is no longer a morote gari it's actually a sukuinage, a scooping throw. I will show an example later on. So uh, I show this uh, multiple times in my octagon analysis uh, videos. Uh, but uh, a lot of people, when they talk about double leg, they instantly say morote gari. This is not the case. It can also be sukuinage, as I mentioned. So you can do it while sacrificing yourself uh, to the front, or here, like Mifune, you can just rip away the legs towards you. No lifting, just take away the legs from underneath them. It looks like a morotegari, but since she merely lifted and dropped her opponent with both hands, it's a skuinage. So as you heard and saw, this is different from the morotegari I've shown earlier. This is a clear lift and a slam down. This is sukuinage or a scooping uh, throw. So let's see it again with Khabib. Here, there's no lift. He just reaps away and takes Justin down uh, back to the cage here he's trying to do like a smash pass justin doing a great job with the overhook here you see a sankaku with the legs with the wrist under the underneath the knee he, uh, what he's trying to do is either finish with an arm bar uh, while striking the face uh, so he can release one arm to protect himself and then goes for the juji gatame or here as you see a sankaku uh, finishing or a triangle finish you pull your wrist towards you and really tighten up the triangle which will uh, result in a bicep slice so uh, now, unfortunately, this is uh, prohibited in IJF Judo, but uh, you can use the bicep slice to get them to release uh, their grip and then you can finish with uh, Juji Gatame. But tapping someone with a bicep slice, unfortunately, is, is uh, prohibited if I'm not mistaken. So this is what Khabib was trying to do. Old school Judo, either frame or trap with Juji Gatame, but finish with a Sankaku finish or just finish with Juji Gatame. Uh, great subtleties. Um, and great old school judo here the second round continues but Justin got lucky with that Sankaku the time went off here he uh, Ushiro Gatame from turtle position into uh, a strangle finish let's see it again 
So Justin was in a turtle position, hooks in, roll over into uh, basically a uh, Ushiro Gatame followed by a Hadaka Jime, but uh, Justin protected himself well, he got Khabib into switching to mount, isolating one arm, um, which is a classical form of Tateshiho Gatame. The Tateshiho Gatame or the mount position, uh, it's not just, uh, uh, it's a pin actually in Judo, the pin is very valid. So in BJJ, uh, it can be uh, practiced differently, but here you isolate the arm in order to really uh, prevent them from doing like a roll or a like an elbow escape uh, or upa or whatever variation to escape from the mount the arm in is very uh, good choice in order to isolate the other arm to get them to go for a triangle so let's see here what he does he takes the arm that he was uh, trapped goes for the other and then locks a triangle choke finally gets the tap from a, uh, a tate sankaku jime uh, here you see uh, Mitsuro Kimura demonstrating it. He was called Mr. Sankaku. So he started uh, from the mount, obviously turning to his back. So a very uh, classical piece of judo invented in 1921 by uh, Kanemitsu Yaechiyoe and Masaru Hayakawa, uh, his student, in order to defeat Sunetane Oda's team that was reigning for the last seven uh, years in the Kosen Judo tournaments of high schools. So uh, what Khabib did obviously was not uh, directly off his back. Here you see uh, like a neon belly and then isolating the arm going for a triangle uh, choke. Let's see that again, neon belly, triangle going for the mount. Khabib kept on rolling in order to get uh, to be in a more comfortable position and then tapping out Justin. Here you see isolating the arm. Uh, what Khabib did was uh, Justin would obviously want to free the arm that's uh, trapped with the head from the mount so uh, when he released it Khabib switched his attention to the other arm because Justin was not paying attention to it because it was safe it was out from the head and arm uh, like a circle if you want uh, which really is a brilliant setup by Khabib uh, this is the subtleties if you guys haven't seen Craig Jones' analysis of how he trapped Conor McGregor, I suggest you do because Khabib's grappling for someone who is you know, mainly a wrestler, he has a lot of subtleties to his judo or jiu-jitsu, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I I say that, you know, you see him wearing a white belt in jiu-jitsu, I'd say he earned his black belt. He should be an honorary black belt easily. So here you see it once again, Mitsuro Kimura demonstrating the uh, Sankaku uh, like I said a great finish to a brilliant career a great tribute to his father who loved uh, judo finishing with a classical judo move set uh, we said goodbye to a great career last night and like I said we were lucky to be alive during it imagine in 10 20 30 years how people will look back at this 29 and 0 uh, record of Khabib Nurmagomedov. Uh, I don't think anyone can replicate such record. Uh, it's, I would say this is the greatest record and I don't think it's going to be repeated anytime uh, soon. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little analysis of these uh, great fighters, especially Khabib. Uh, I always enjoy doing these octagon analysis. So if you have anything else to add, let me know down below. Also consider supporting me on Patreon. The link will be in the description. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.